There is a story that we broke last night right here on Fox 19. Now four people are thankful to be alive actually after train hit a car and it dragged it a thousand feet. People who heard the crash spoke with Fox 19's Kendall Hyde, who's live with the very latest. Now, Kendall, do we know that? Was it did the train? Was it the train's fault? Is it the car's fault? Do we have any idea? Trisha, right now, that's the number one question we are trying to work with CPD to get at this moment. However, we have not gotten that answer. But even though those four people are expected to be okay, residents still want to see road improvements because they said speeding is the number one problem. And even when the arms go down on the railroads, you still see people trying to swerve through to beat out the train. You heard something from up the street, but you didn't know what it was. You heard like a boom. For the past 10 years, Joyce Ware has called Carthage home. And Tuesday evening, she was walking through her home. She heard the sound of a loud crash that made her run outside and see what it was. And I continued to hear the ambulances and the fire department going by. We saw people stopped at the railroad tracks, getting out the car and like looking up the street. And that's when I was like, oh my goodness, please don't tell me that was somebody that got hit by that train. According to Cincinnati police, Tuesday evening, a train hit a car crossing over the tracks and pushed it 1,000 feet. Firefighters say that four people were inside the car and that they're okay. In fact, firefighters called it a miracle. Terry Lay is a longtime Carthage resident who says Tuesday's crash does not surprise him. And he expects more crashes like this to happen if the city of Cincinnati doesn't make road improvements. Well, years ago, they were talking about putting an overpass there. But if they put the overpass there, that cuts out my front yard. Ware agrees that safety changes must be made. I really wish there was more enforcement as far as the speed limit through this area because we are a residential area and there's are there children around here. I'm sorry, there's dogs, there's everything around here. And you just don't want to see someone get hurt. And Trisha, both Ware and Lay told me that they plan to start attending more city leader meetings and making sure that they address those needs throughout the city, especially here in Carthage, because they said they don't want for another incident like this to happen and it turn out to be fatal. For now, reporting to you live in Carthage, Kendall Hyde, Fox 19 Now.